Well, the lodging industry, uh, unfortunately, as glamorous of an industry as we are, we have had to uh, handle our share of uh, crisis. Um, it could be something from a national um, uh, a newspaper breaking something like an Aaron Andrews case where, um, you know, we, we get um, hundreds of phone calls from various media outlets, whether it's um, broadcast or newspaper, and we have to speak on behalf of the hotel industry and talk about security. It could be something that bubbled up from one of our partner state associations. Um, if there's a, a, an issue uh, with something that happens in a particular state where you know, uh, a, a newspaper reporter will I'll be on their doorstep. They'll reach out to us. Um, a lot of them may not have a lot of PR background, so we'll help them as far as uh, speaking points for that particular interview, and w as well as um, just going over basic PR tactics and do's and don'ts when you do an interview. Yeah. Sure. Um, as I said, the lodging industry is, is a glamorous one, and so yes, bed bugs are one of the um, areas that we've had to address. Um, when it first bubbled up last year was when it really sort of hit the mainstream media in a really big way. Uh, we were fortunate in that we were not, we were barely even in a footnote in those initial articles because it really focused on bed bugs in movie theaters and bed bugs in the, in the Nike stores and, you know, oh my God, bed bugs in the Empire State Building. But hotels were very rarely uh, mentioned and I think that that's because hotels have historically dealt with the issue of bed bugs. Although they were almost eradicated, they've always been on our radar as an industry. However, I don't think office buildings, movie theaters, etc., even had a thought that they needed to be aware of that. So I think they were hit harder in that way. Um, however, when um, uh, there were a few instances, they did start sort of bubbling up that there would be, um, you know, they'd want to uh, incorporate more of a, a hotel slant. And then um, there was a lawsuit uh, uh, against one of the bigger chains, of, you know, a, a, a high-end hotel. And then the phone calls just started coming in earnest. But, you know, in reality, we feel like we have a good story to tell in that, as I said, this is something that we've always had on our radar, that um, hotels are very proactive about bed bugs. Um, we were able to um, find one or two general managers who were willing to um, go on record as far as things that they do, and they have their housekeeping staff and have their entire staff do around bed bugs. So we were able to turn that into a very positive story. Sure. Well, for our association, um, a big part of our member benefit to, um, to our members is providing them PR, and we call it being the voice of the industry, and that's a, a role that we take very um, seriously and, um, and, and are, are very aggressive about. So um, we do anything that, uh, that pops up in the media, we send out an advisory immediately to our members, letting them know this is the situation, these are the resources that we have to assist you, um, you know, especially anything to, um, uh, to, to uh, help them so that they're not part of a copycat incident. And certainly, you know, we're all told, you know, to go through a, a crisis uh, management before it happens. But in reality, it's hard to make yourself, and, until that crisis hits, it's hard to make yourself do that because I think everyone has that philosophy, oh, it would never happen to, to our industry.